Begin the radio show. Side effects may include drowsiness and loss of appetite. Why do we need drones with the police department? The real problem is there's no middle class, right? So the gap is widening. Thanks, Earl, but you don't have a small business. The size of my business has never been in question. There's never a dull Monday. My weekend is still not over. We definitely got a show. Oh, yeah, there's a show. It's about role play. It's incredibly bizarro. Yes. And its message is timeless. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Rolling Stone magazine, the Bible of rock and roll for half a century, is for sale. Jan Wenner, the magazine's swaggering co-founder, said on Sunday, the New York Times first reported the intended sale of Wenner's 51% stake. Wenner's company, Wenner Media, confirmed the report Sunday night, saying in a statement that it was looking at strategic options to best position the brand for future growth. Started in a loft in San Francisco in 1967, a 21-year-old Wenner started a magazine that would become the counterculture bible for baby boomers. Rolling Stone defined cool, cultivated literary icons, and produced star-making covers that were such coveted real estate they even inspired a song. WWE Hall of Famer Bobby the Brain Heenan has passed away. The WWE confirmed that Bobby passed away Sunday at the age of 73. No official cause of death has been confirmed, though Heenan had previously been diagnosed with throat cancer. Heenan is considered by most experts to be the greatest pro wrestling manager of all time, managing Andre the Giant, Rick Rude, and Mr. Perfect, among others. Brian Summers is back with a message for all you Debbie Downers upset because your team lost over the weekend. And now, Sports Thoughts with Brian Summers. Hello, sports fans. It's Brian Summers. Hope you're having a super day so far because, let's face it, some of us aren't now, are we? I mean, maybe things aren't going so well for your team. Maybe they lost over the weekend and you're feeling a little down now, aren't you? Well, today, Brian would like to talk to you about Mr. Negativity. Have you met Mr. Negativity? He's not very nice now, is he? And let me tell you what my therapist tells me every week. It's up to you to take Mr. Frown and turn him upside down now, isn't it? It's up to you. Don't let someone tell you that you're not good enough to be the Olympic figure skating champion. That's Mr. Negativity talking. Or don't listen to people who tell you you're an underachiever or a, a disappointment. Closing up my ears to that kind of talk. Dad, or don't let your co-workers laugh at your I like myself just the way I am coffee mug. I mean, up here is Karen, the office doormat. I mean, that's Mr. Negativity talking, and you've probably slept with him too, you little trampet. So, my message today, put a smile on that frown, and Mr. Negativity, get out of town. I'm Brian Summers. Have a positive day. This has been Sports Thoughts. With Brian Summers. President Trump called Kim Jong un Rocket Man in a tweet Saturday night, apparently because Trump thinks Saturday night's all right for fighting and lame tweeting. Meanwhile, Trump let a kid who's a fan of his mow the White House lawn. That's caused some seriously bad feelings because, as we all know, that's Eric's job. A very disturbing flashback scene of Pennywise the Clown was cut from the movie It. Picture this. He's young, he needs the money, and a casting call goes out for a McDonald's commercial. That huge Ken Burns Vietnam War documentary started Sunday night. The documentary actually lasts longer than the war did. Ozzy Osbourne says getting caught cheating finally made him realize what an idiot he's been. Of course, he could have realized that 15 years ago just by watching a single episode of the Osbournes. Have you seen that video of Jennifer Garner after she visits the dentist and is still under the influence of laughing gas? Everything is funny to her, especially the thought that she actually married Ben Affleck. Toys R Us is preparing for possible bankruptcy. That sounds strange for a place that sells piggy banks. In Japan, Coca-Cola has debuted Coca-Cola Coffee Plus. You know, with North Korea sending missiles over their island, you'd think that the Japanese would prefer a beverage that made them a little less jittery. Time for Nobody Gives a 
Fox is now airing six second ads during NFL games. Because let's face it, that's all the time they need to remind us real men to drink beer, drive pickup trucks, and pop pills to give us erections. Hey, Fox, nobody gives a f- A survey found that 11% of us have a plan in case of a zombie apocalypse. The other 89% aren't abusing meth. Hey, zombies, nobody gives a f***. And Baltimore is shutting down their bike share program after most of the bikes were stolen. How shocking, replied people who've never been to Baltimore. Hey, Baltimore, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.